Using a comics lens, I have projected a candle and a police car. But the image of the police car is so blurry, you can't even see it. Now watch what happens when I move the projection screen toward the lens. The image of the candle becomes blurry, but the image of the police car becomes sharp. Now, let me move the projection screen very close behind the lens. Directly behind the lens, everything appears completely blurry. Now, I have placed three pinholes onto the lens. Close behind the lens, I get three sharp images side by side. Notice that each image has a different perspective. The perspective always corresponds to the view from the pinhole. We'll call these images from different viewpoints, elemental images. Now watch what happens when I move the screen away from the lens. The elemental images start to overlap. Here, the elemental images of the car coincide, whereas the elemental images of the candle don't, producing a blurry lens image of the candle, but a sharp lens image of the car. Here, the elemental images of the candle coincide, whereas the elemental images of the car don't, producing a blurry lens image of the car, but a sharp lens image of the candle. Accordingly, we may interpret lens imaging as a superposition of elemental images. For a given lens and a given object, we want to find the lens image. We can do this based on two arbitrary viewpoints, P1 and P2. For the first step, we draw two lines containing the object. For the second step, we draw a horizontal line and measure the distance from that line to the top of the elemental image in the front focal plane transferring that distance to the back focal plane below the focal point. Then we measure the distance to the bottom of the elemental image, transferring that above the focal point. This gives us the elemental image in the back focal plane and allows us to draw two lines containing all the elemental images proceeding from viewpoint P1. For step 3, we repeat the procedure based on viewpoint P2. We draw two lines containing the object. Also, we draw a horizontal line, measuring the distance to the top, transferring that below the focal point, measuring the distance to the bottom, transferring that above the focal point. This gives us the elemental image in the back focal plane and allows us to draw two lines containing all other elemental images. Now, the lens image is located where all these images overlap, which is right here.